let's see what it'll take to build a performance dashboard with a list of recent orders, charts describing products performance information, as well as the list of suppliers and categories. The first step to creating our dashboard page is to create a controller that will hold our form view and relevant data view fields. Start the project designer by clicking on the project name and press design. Under the controllers tab, create a new controller. Assign the name dashboards. Create a new view for the dashboards controller by right clicking on the views node and press New View. Assign the ID Form1. Make sure to set the type to Form. The label will be displayed at the top of the page in large font. Add a label that reflects the purpose of the form, such as Performance Dashboard. Let's also add an icon to our view using a tag. Go ahead and save the form. Next, let's add a few data view fields to this form. Select orders, categories, products, and suppliers. Copy these controllers and paste it onto the dashboards controller. This will create a set of data view fields. Next, let's bind these fields to our form one view. Select all the fields and drop it onto the form. We would like to make a few customizations to our dashboard. Double click on the category C1 that was automatically created. Clear the header text and save. Double click on the orders data field. We would like to render orders in a calendar presentation. Tag the orders data field as view style calendar and save. We would like to display charts for our products. For the products data field, add the tag view style charts. Finally, we'd like to make sure that our form renders in two columns. Create a new category on Form 1 View. Set the flow to New Column. And save. Drag the last two data fields into the new category. Now that our dashboard view is ready, let's go ahead and create a new page and bind the view to the page. Right click on Form 1 View and press Copy. Switch to the Pages tab. Create a new page. Assign the name Dashboard. Under Custom Style, assign the class Wide to make sure that the sidebar is always hidden. Save the new page. Right click on the new page and press Paste. This will bind our form to the page. Finally, let's place this page second in our sitemap. We will need to make one last change. Double click on view one. Set show action buttons to none. And save the view. Let's see our dashboard in action.
our users now see an agenda of recently created orders on the left side. We have a list of charts displaying information about products on the right side. If we scroll down, we can view a list of categories on the left side, as well as a list of suppliers on the right side.